please let this be a light switch. Damn it, Carnby. You see that thing? That thing that's right there and it's right in front of you? It's a switch and it's flashing and shit. Why aren't you pulling it? Why the fuck aren't you pulling it, Carnby? There's a switch. You should be pulling it, Carnby. Okay, looks like we found the Morton's uh, test lab. <laughs> Have a sneaking suspicion this is where they kept people locked up while they were doing experiments. Just call it a hunch. I mean, all the chains and cages. Just a hunch. That and the dried blood. Yeah. Which, for some reason, isn't reacting to my flashlight. I'm guessing that flashlight upgrade exists only for that one puzzle. And something is flashing on top of this cage. Am I the only one seeing that? And something's flashing over there. What's this? Charm of saving. Which reminds me, might as well save. And take a look around. Something in... Something in this cage or something. Maybe it's between the cages? Fuck, my depth perception is either really, really bad or there's something weird going on here. I don't know, the camera angles make it a bit of a bitch. Yes, I'm bitching about the camera angles constantly. That and the fact that items tend to clip through walls. It's, it's just really fucking piss poor game design. I don't care what excuse they could possibly have. It just feels like really fucking stupid. Okay, now we've got other items clipping through walls. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Fuck it. I'll come back later if it turns out to be important. Otherwise, I'm just going to assume that it's random ammo or something. Uh, machines are everywhere. system made up of a dark and shiny mass about 15 inches long by 7 inches wide chaotic structure reacts directly to white light contracting like a pupil I'm taking all the samples needed to carry out a biochemical analysis I already believe it possible to assert that the main elements composing it are zinc and beryllium as for the others mainly interested in their central crystalline structure. It's that structure that I need to extract and inject. Who goes there? Alan, don't even think about it. I could have gotten rid of you a dozen times at least, but I'd rather you have a taste of darkness while you're still alive. When my friends are done with you, your body will still come in handy for me. <laughs> to Alan right in the middle of one of his macabre experiments. He was up to his elbows dissecting... I don't want to know what. <sighs> Horrible. But where are you? In an underground laboratory. It looks as though Alan's experiments require quite a bit of material. And corpses. Corpses? Human corpses? I don't know. He hightailed it out of there and cut off the power supply. I'm stuck here in the dark. I found a floor plan. I think it's the layout of the lab. Wait, there's an exit just next to the operating table. Okay, on my way. Operating table? Maybe down here? Could have sworn there was... Hello? No, no, that's no good. Come back the way you came. But this is next to the operating table. Show where the locking mechanism is. 
Thanks, Aline. You're a lifesaver. Try not to make a habit out of it. Wait, I've got a problem. What? The locking mechanism is outside of the lab. Aline, we have to find a solution. Maybe if I turn all these devices back on... We can provoke an overload and free up the door. Okay, let's try it. Where do I begin? There are two tables with an experimental device on them. Follow the wall to the left of the door to find them. Okay. It's a real house of horrors in here. Why do you turn off your flashlight in every cutscene, Carby? Why do you do this? Alright. No, no, that's no good. Come back the way you came. But that is to the left of the door. See, if I'm standing here, that's my left. Right? See? No, that's right. See? Yeah, that's right. You should have said right. <laughs> oh, fucking... Oh, that that was that was that was nice. Yeah. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. What's this over here? Did she just tell me to go through that room full of creepy ass cages? Yeah, that doesn't sound like a bad idea at all. I'm a little bit disappointed by the fact that Alan Morton looks like a pirate. Although maybe I should be happy about that. I don't know. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Yeah, okay. Running like hell! Oh shit, I love this gun. Shut the fuck up, Aline. By the way, uh, you said earlier, like, I should answer when you call me. How does it feel, bitch? How does it fucking feel? but I didn't get any of the promised overload. Have some patience. I'd like to see you try it. The light switch is in the side room. Go back the other way and turn right at the intersection. Then follow the corridor. Was there any point to this whole backtracking section? I mean, besides making shit like that happen constantly. Where did he just go? There was a monster here, but now he's gone. The fuck. Oh, whatever. Saves me some ammo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw this on the way in. Okay, they're recycling dialogue, and they're making me stop, like, every two or three feet. Ah, for... Oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> I've got a lot of phosphorus charges. Might as well use them. Okay, what the fuck. They're vanishing into thin air. That's... Ah, <sighs> whatever. I'm past the point where I give a shit. Aline, you 
can't see this. I don't even want to know what Alan... I just turned on some kind of laser beam. Okay, in theory, now's the time that something should happen. Nothing's happening. I'm gonna stay stuck here. That's it! It's working! Okay. Take the door to your left and cross the laboratory to reach the exit. Thanks a lot. On my way. Okay, let's check out this paper that was bothering me before. Christopher Lamb to Obed Morton. Christopher Lamb, for those of you that don't quite recall, he's the guy in charge of the Bureau, and he's some kind of a cult fanatic dude. My patience has its limits. You promised me results, and I'm still waiting for them. Your brother's escapades are of little interest to me. I agreed to take care of your family's considerable debts, and I granted you the loans you requested. I supplied you with all the raw materials you claim to have need of. Need I remind you that you are useful, but not indispensable. It would inconvenience me greatly to have to use, how shall I put it, more pervasive means to obtain the translation of the tablet and the copy of your brother's work notes. If I do not receive a reply to the letter, I will not hesitate to employ the necessary methods to achieve my ends. Christopher Lamb. Christopher Lamb has apparently gotten really pissed off with the Morton family. And he is now... Oh, wait, there's more. My dear Alan, if you are reading this letter, it means that the curtain has gone down on my farce of a life. You are still young. Wait. From Jeremy Morton to Alan Morton. Ah, okay. Then I need to change out my accent. <clears throat> my dear Alan, if you are reading this letter, it means that the curtain has gone down on my farce of a life. You are still young, but I know you will understand. When I entrusted you with the statue and told you to talk about it to no one, I noticed the surprise in your expression. You must realize that this statue represents a great danger to the world of darkness. So that you shall never forget the dangers and the importance of our goal, I leave you with this half of a photograph. You are standing in front of the gate, and never forget that you are not alone. I am confident that you will one day manage to translate the tablet's engravings. All the Moltons, except your father, have managed the task, even if you do not have the benefit of the Cerato's help. I leave you with the huge responsibility of this choice. I am far too much a coward. Go easy on your father and take care of your mother. Eden Shaw is your only help now. Remember, he could also turn out to be your worst enemy. Farewell, your grandpa, Jeremy. Okay, so apparently Eden Shaw can switch sides rather quickly. And that flash, I'm guessing that was that switch. It's hard to tell, and honestly, I don't think I really need any more saving items or shit like that. I'm even doing okay on ammo. I could do a lot better, but barring any repeated boss fights, I should be okay. Even if I had to start resorting to rockets. So, Alan Morton is apparently fully American, and he has an eye patch. Didn't see this coming. He also looks a lot younger than I would have assumed. Holy shit, that is a lot. Yeah. I love the sound of your voice. Save the wise for later. Where are you? Thanks for your support. I've got two statues. And you? Same. I also have two statues. I went by Alan Morton's lab, and I'm starting to get an idea of Lamb's goals. And what about your friend? Fisk? I don't think these scumbags even gave him a fighting chance. You mean the Morton brothers? No, I'm talking about Lamb and Johnson. Fisk probably never even set foot on this damn island. So what are you going to do? First of all, I'm going to get us out of here. It seems that if I keep going,